As for the DPP, a scholar says the thrashing the ruling party received in Saturday's elections was a result of centrist voters failing to turn out at the polling stations because they were turned off by negative campaigning. The election saw the DPP banished from the nation's northern and central regions entirely after it lost the mayoral seats of Jilong, Taoyuan and Xinju. Now the DPP only controls its traditional strongholds in the south. President Tsai Ing-wen has resigned as chair of the DPP to take responsibility for the sweeping defeats. The election results have also raised new questions about the DPP's future presidential candidate. The outgoing mayor of Taoyuan, Zheng Wen-chan, was originally a presidential favorite, but his chances seem greatly diminished now that his city has lost to the KMT. As always, Vice President Lai Qingde is still seen as the politician that is most likely to be on the presidential ticket in 2024. President Tsai Ing-wen announced she had resigned as party chair to take responsibility for the DPP's thrashing in the municipal elections. The election results were not as expected. We accept the election results with humility. We were unable to break through the existing local political structures. This shows our cultivation at the local level still falls far short of the expectations of the people. We also did not raise enough local talent. Given the amount of negative campaigning in this year's elections and the hatred, many centrist voters were unwilling to vote in this kind of election and they felt disinterested. The DPP his fundamental base at the local level is smaller than that of the KMT to begin with. This scholar thinks that the KMT was able to safeguard its voter base, whereas the DPP from the beginning allowed the election's main focus to veer towards negative campaigning. In the end, DPP politicians made a last-ditch effort of telling voters that a vote for the DPP is a vote against China and to protect Taiwan, but this failed to gain momentum. <laughs> I don't think playing the card of resisting China to protect Taiwan is ineffective. I think with local elections, everyone cares more about policies concerning people's livelihoods. This is understandable. Following the DPP's disastrous defeat, ideas within the party about who should run on its 2024 presidential ticket may change. <laughs> Taoyuan Mayor Zheng Wen-san was originally regarded as a strong presidential contender in 2024. But now that his party has lost Taoyuan, his prestige has plummeted. Conversely, Kaohsiung Mayor Chen Chi-mai soared to victory. As for Vice President Lai Ching-de, he had been stumping for candidates all over the country. He may now need to adjust his approach if he wants to go for Taiwan's top job. I think this is a little premature. The DPP first needs to look at who will be the party's chair next. This is extremely important. Judging from the election results, it is true that Chen Qimai's popularity has increased a lot. Chen Qimai may run for party chair, but I think he needs to be extremely cautious when it comes to aiming for the 2024 ticket. As the dust settles on the election, the party's star politicians are looking at upcoming turns in their political futures. Whether they go up or down, it will take some time before the DPP's presidential candidate emerges.